The latest developments on a deadly assault in Westerly. One man is now facing manslaughter charges following the incident in a pizza shop parking lot. The injured victim died at the hospital and new tonight. We're learning more about what police say caused the assault and how the victim's being remembered. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado is live in Westerly now with those details. Steph. Westerly police tell us this assault was caught on camera. They say a 23 year old punched a 49 year old. He fell and hit his head and later died. How do you have anything to say? Do you like to say anything? Alexander Brown in tears leaving court after he was formally charged with manslaughter. Westerly police say he assaulted 49 year old John Gardner in this parking lot on Main Street at 2.15 a.m. Sunday. Gardner died at the hospital. We were shocked. John Gardner was a regular at Midway Pizza. The owners now collecting money for his funeral expenses and planning a fundraiser. You know, he was just a great person. He would come in always talking, asking how we were and just a wonderful guy. Police say both John Gardner and the suspect, Alexander Brown, were inside the pizza place before the alleged assault, but they say there was no fight inside. Police say video evidence shows Gardner apparently bumping into Brown outside, then Brown punching him, his head hitting the ground. Stuff like that doesn't really happen around here. It's quiet. No matter what time of day or night, even in the middle of the night, it's always quiet here. Police say Brown claimed self-defense in an interview with police. They charged him with manslaughter and disorderly conduct. His defense attorney speaking outside court. It's an unfortunate incident. He's a good person. He has no record. And... Uh, what happened, happened. I know him and his family feel very terribly about this. And police say Brown actually does have a record, despite what his attorney said. He was sentenced for disorderly conduct in 2015. Now, Brown was freed on bail today until his next court date in October. Coming up new at 6, we're learning more about the victim, John Gardner, from another man who knew him. Live in Westerly, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. First at six, we're working new details on a deadly assault in the parking lot of a westerly pizza shop. The suspect, 23-year-old Alexander Brown, answered a manslaughter charges this morning. As the investigation into what led up to the deadly dispute continues, we're learning more about the alleged victim. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado is live in Westerly now with more. Steph. Well, the alleged manslaughter victim in this case was a regular at that local pizza shop. Police say the suspect appeared to not even know him. John Gardner crossed this parking lot many times to get pizza over the years. Comes in frequently, daily sometimes. Westerly police say he died early Sunday morning after being assaulted in the Main Street parking lot, allegedly punched by 23-year-old Alexander Brown, later dying at the hospital. Police say both men were inside the pizza place before it happened, but there was no fight inside. Midway Pizza now raising money for his funeral expenses. You know, he was just a great person. He would come in, always talking, asking how we were, and just a wonderful guy. He was a good man. Um, knew him to say hi to. He was like one of those people that would you see in town every day. Town Councilman Jean Gagne says Gardner used to work at the Westerly Library. He was proud to see the community starting to come together for John. That's typical Westerly, right here. Joe in Midway. This is Westerly. Police say they have Alexander Brown on video hitting Gardner. He was charged with manslaughter and disorderly conduct, appearing in court Monday in tears on his way out after posting bail. And police say Brown told them he hit Gardner in self-defense, but they say the video shows otherwise. Police declined to release that video to us, though, citing the ongoing investigation. Live in Westerly, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.